Is everything all right? No, I'm not all right. But I'll be a lot better once we get with the others. We need to make sure everyone else made it out. Luke, Sarah, Kenny. God damn it. What if they aren't there? If they aren't, nothing we can do about it. Don't even say things like that. Fine. Sorry. Jesus. I don't even know if we're safe. What if the herd is still following us? We're fine. It's been quiet, but who knows? We gotta keep going. We'll watch out for each other. So long as we keep up a good pace. I know, I know. Just, I'm going as fast as I can. I know I should feel glad that we escaped, but I just can't stop thinking about the others. It was stupid. What was? Escaping? Look, I know we all agreed to use the herd to get out, but maybe we should have been more patient. Come up with something better. It worked. If you can call that working, we could have... I don't know. Jane saved us. I don't know how we would have gotten out without you. You don't give yourself enough credit. I'm just saying that if people hadn't panicked, things might have turned out better. Of course. We panicked. We were scared. The plan was good. The execution was the messy part. That sounds an awful lot like you're saying it was their fault. What? No. No, that's not what I'm saying. Just... Ugh. I have to stop. I'm sorry. I don't want to slow us down. Can I just have a minute? Uh, yeah. Take a minute. Thank you. Alvin was supposed to be here for this. Is Alvin... He's dead is what he is. Thanks to that fucking madman back there. Jane, do you know anything about... No. I don't. What are you going to do with it? What do you mean by that? Uh, sorry. Just... Making conversation. It was nothing. No. What do you mean by that? Who with what? My baby? I'm just looking at the worst case scenario. You and Clem won't be able to raise a baby by yourselves. Not out here. I just mean it's going to need food. And, you know, other stuff. We'll look after it, together. Even if that's the case, you can't always protect everyone. And you assume I won't be capable enough. Just because you're some angry loner who doesn't care about anyone but herself doesn't mean you know better than me. Hey, I've seen it before. Back when it started, me and my sister, we what? were- What? She died? I don't need your pity. You don't. You don't have the right. Jane! Shit, I didn't mean it. Shit. She didn't mean it. Right? Oh, damn it. We can't just sit here doing nothing. I know, I know. They'll be here soon. Holy shit. It had been so long, we were starting to worry no one else would make it. Oh, besides. Now, hopefully we can figure out a plan. How's Kenny? I tried to talk to Kenny, he flipped out on me. Started yelling. Scary shit. I know, he probably didn't mean it. But it was scary. I've been nervous to even go near him. What? You think he's gonna shoot you? The way he is right now? I don't know. Maybe. He's not acting rationally. He's just... he's not thinking straight. I should go talk to him. This is my fault. Hey, you did what you thought was right. That's all anyone can do in that situation. Sarita, God, wherever you are, please forgive me. I can't be alone again. Hi, Kenny.
think I don't know what y'all are whispering about over there? What's wrong with Kenny? Why is Kenny acting that way? Do you think Kenny's okay? It's all I hear from anyone anymore. Kenny, I'm so sorry about Sarita. Sorry, huh? Well, that's nice of you, seeing as this was your fault in the first place. There was nothing I could do. Seeing how things turned out, I think I might have preferred you do nothing. I tried to save her. You think because you're a little girl, you can just get people killed and no one will care? That because you're sorry, it'll all magically go away? That's not how it works! Not for the last time, just get the fuck out of here and leave me alone. I'm going crazy just sitting here not doing anything. Just give it time, Mike. It's still early. Plan. How'd it go? Kenny's really mad at me. Clem, you can't just expect him to bounce back. That man's going through. At least you try. Still, doesn't exactly help us figure out what we're gonna do now. We got no food, no water, and it's getting damn cold, and we're losing daylight fast. When the others get back, they'll know what to do. Luke will have a plan. We thought Kenny would have a plan. Mike, Bonnie. <sighs> Mike's got a point. You can't just keep sitting around waiting. Things are difficult enough right now, and soon you'll have a baby on your hands too. What, suddenly you're pretending to be concerned? Seeing you people floundering the minute things don't go according to plan has just got me on edge, all right? We should go find Luke, Sarah, and Nick. If they're in trouble, we might be able to help them. Clementine's right. After everything, after all this, if there's any chance they're still alive, we need to take it. I'll go. Clem can come with me. Thank you. Listen, Rebecca, if anything goes wrong here, you got something to protect yourself? I've got this. You don't think I'd need to... I don't know, but you better keep that close. Come on, Clem. Look, I'm gonna level with you. You should know that finding your friends, that's a shot in the dark. I don't know about that. We shouldn't give up before we've even looked. Okay, but I wanted to talk to you, away from them. You wouldn't have made it this far if you weren't smart, but I still... I just gotta warn you. A group is cracking. I've seen it before. And, well, a lot of times, it's better to be on your own. I know you see what I'm talking about. You don't want to be here when they start burning on each other. These are good people. We help each other. I can't leave that. You'd be surprised. How much help is Kenny gonna be? What he's going through? He's more of a liability than anything. And Rebecca's situation is not making things better back there. You get enough broken people together, and all you're gonna get are broken decisions. How can you get along without trusting anyone? That's exactly how I get along. For what it's worth, I like most of the people in your crew. But groups fall apart. People get killed. Then why did you bring me with you? I'm just trying to give you the tools you need to make it, if you wanna. Like your jacket. It looks warm, but a walker will bite right through that. My sister Jamie had a good leather one. Wish I still had it. 
You could have. What, what happened to your sister? <laughs> Seems we always want to talk about the end, don't we? You know, being a big sister is, well, it's funny. It's really easy to be mean. Oh? You know, hide her toys, make fun of her bad haircut, give her the bad haircut on purpose. I mean, I did put the gum there. I figured I should get it out. I don't even know why. Is that really what it's like having a sister? No, no. It's not all bad, but... What could I do? She thought I was her best friend. I couldn't go unpunished. <laughs> Every summer we'd go to this amusement park in Virginia. But the best part wasn't the rides. It was that nobody knew us there. And I'd... I'd pretend we weren't sisters. Just... friends. <sighs> Jackpot. Smart haircut. Thanks. So, has your crew always been so dysfunctional? You fit in there, but you weren't like them. It makes me wonder. I was with a different group before. That one worked better, I think. That was when I got my hair cut like this. That's it. A nail file. These things are great. Sharpen a blade, strike a flint. Amy always had one in her purse. I'd jab my hand when I went reaching in. Never be too sure with these things. Here, give me a hand. These glasses, they're Sarah's. Looks like your friend didn't make it. Sorry. I don't know what to tell you. Sarah? Sarah, are you there? Are you crazy? Walkers? Bandits? You've just announced our position to any of them out there. That's no way to find your friends. Look, Clem, I know what you want me to say, but... Yeah! Sarah! Goddamn! Shit! Okay, come on. We gotta find a way in. Looks like there's an opening over there. Look, he's your friend. You should do this. Luke or Sarah or anybody needs to be put down. You gotta be ready for it. No hesitation. You know that, right? It never gets any easier, does it? As in for me. That hatchet of yours seems to get stuck pretty easily. It's gonna get you killed. Here, use this. Very effective. You can do this.
I wanted to check on you. Make sure you're okay. You know what it feels like to get beaten almost to death? Peaceful. It feels peaceful. It was like I was floating away, watching the whole thing happen to me. And then I woke up again, and nothing's changed. I'm still taking a beating. Every day. Duck. Tatcha. Sarita. No peace. No rest. I know it's hard for everyone, but things will get better. Why the hell couldn't Carver have just finished me off? Obviously, I ain't helping anyone by being here. That's not true. You help me. All the time. I need you. Hmm. I've seen you take care of yourself more than any three adults put together. But, uh, thanks for saying that. Now, nah, don't worry yourself about this. It's nothing. Hadn't killed me yet, anyway. Don't be stupid. It could be infected. Well? Oh, shit. Does that mean what I think it does? What are we supposed to do? We should see what's going on. Oh, hey. Are you okay? Yeah. Yeah. It's just a lot's happened today. And I don't know if... Well, it's sometimes good to have someone watching your back. So, come on, partner. Let's go check out that deck. I like the height. Partner? Don't let it get to your head. Let's go. You think this thing still works? <laughs> Check the muzzle, Napoleon. Oh. They fill them with cement so they're safe. River crossing is miles up. Rebecca wouldn't make it in her condition. Keep it in mind, though. Jane! There's someone coming toward us. Shit, shit, shit. He's coming this way. And who knows if he has friends nearby. I don't like having some stranger sneaking around so... Can we fight him? He'll be too risky. I didn't get a good look at him. We should scope him out and see what he's up to. I don't like having some stranger sneaking around so close to the others. We've got enough on our plates with a baby coming. Last thing we need is someone telling their friends about the new easy targets in the neighborhood. We should just try and stay out of sight till he's gone. Good call. Shit. Hide now. Try to run. We have you surrounded. What are you doing here? Nothing. I am Arvo. I'm going to go. I don't want to shoot. I don't want to shoot anyone. Especially Malinka Devochka. Uh, little girl. Jane, he has a gun. Uh. Back up. Put the bag down. Clem, make sure he doesn't have any other weapons in there.
No, I have no more guns. I. Anything? Whoa. That's a serious stash of meds. No, 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 no. Take whatever you want, but don't take the medicine. It's for my sister. My older sister, she's sick. The pain makes her cry, and that makes those things come. Please. You're lying. No, it's true. No, I'm, I'm not. She's in the woods. Sister or not, we could really use that stuff. No, you are not nice people. You have already left me defenseless, and now you... You take my sister's medicine? You are worried. You hey, it. we've got people who are suffering. Who need this medicine? Luke's still a wreck after Carver's. Kenny's a mess. Rebecca's in pain. Look at all of it. Clementine, we need people that stuff. People are suffering just as much as yours. You are not special. Clementine, yes, you must believe... don't believe a fucking word about your sick Please sister. Please don't make my sister suffer. She has been through enough. Oh, yeah? Well, I think you're just some junkie. You know what that word means, huh? I'm sorry, Arvo. We need these. You feel fish. You hadn't done this. <laughs> oh, what are you doing? You don't have to do this. Just let me go. Don't you ever come around here again. I don't care if you do have some sick sister. The next time I see you, you won't just be walking away. Go. Oh. I can't believe I've gotten into this mess. Taking some stupid kid's stuff. Like a bandit. I thought you were gonna shoot him. Why? Did you want me to? Go bring those meds to the others and bring everybody back here. I'm gonna get this place opened, then we need to get moved in ASAP. Clem! Clem, hey! Any luck with that observation, Dick? I was just checking on Rebecca and Kenny. They said they hadn't heard from you in a while. I don't guess there'd be much, but Jane seems pretty resourceful. Jane and I were trying to open the gift shop, and a stranger showed up. He had a lot of medicine, so we took some. What? You robbed him? Seriously? You stole meds from somebody? Jane told me I should take them. And you just did it? Where is this guy now? Jane took his gun and chased him off. Well, I guess Jane's really rubbed off on you. Is Jane still up there now? Yeah. She's trying to get the gift shop opened. No, I can't figure her out. I mean, she really lays it on the line, but at the same time, she doesn't show you anything that counts. I'm never quite sure if she just done like people, or just plain out done like me. I like her. She's honest, and she knows what she's doing. Yep. That's more than I can say for some. Jane seems like the kind of person who gets tempered by hardship, you know? But when I look at Kenny now, he just... he seems broken. Broken people get reckless. I know you got a history with him. Look, I think he's a good guy. At least started as a good guy. But I just think he's had to take more than he can handle. You're wrong. Kenny's stronger than anyone. He tries to protect us. I don't know, Clem. I used to think then that maybe all the horror hadn't gotten to you yet. But you watched your friend murder Carver. Not just kill him, but... Clem, you didn't even blink. Carver deserved what happened to him. He was a bad man. No question about that. I'm just hoping we don't become the same. I need to tell the others about the deck. Yeah, good. I will, uh, I'll see you back there.
I tell you. Hey, look at this. An old coat. Nice. Good find, Clem. You should hang on to that. It's gonna get a lot colder before it starts getting warmer. And someone could use it. Maybe I could give it to Rebecca. That's a good idea. I'm sure she'll really appreciate it. I guess you've already got that old coat I gave you. I feel so bad about everything that happened. Hopefully you won't always think of me like that. Not that I blame you if you did. I haven't always used the best judgment. You finally opened your eyes about Carver and what a bad person he was. That's something. Yeah. Clem found a jacket. That's great, but uh, isn't Gray the, you know, uh, we can't put Rebecca in a Confederate coat. Oh, I didn't even think about that. Guess it's better than nothing, though. Over here. Water! Bottled and clean, that's just what we need. It's locked. You wanna kick it down? That'd make an awful lot of noise. Yeah, maybe. You know, if somebody was small enough, they could maybe squeeze through that gap there. I could try to pry it open some more, but I don't know if that'll help much. Are you sure you can't get it open? Okay, no, that's all right. Maybe I can just reach through to the lock. That happened. You okay, Bonnie? It's just a pump. I'm gonna be all right. Christ, that would have been a stupid way to die. Sorry you got banged up. Not sure my face was my best feature anyway. Come on, that's not true. Let me see your arm. No, I... I didn't get bit, just old scars. At least now we got something to bring back. I'll keep checking the other room. Let's get this water. <laughs> hey, I got this. That looks pretty heavy. Uh, that's all right. I know it looks like a lot, but we could all go through this pretty quick. Barbara was crazy, but at least his shelves were always full. You're right. I thought it looked like so much. That baby's gonna be hard on everyone, especially Rebecca. And between you and me, she's not looking too good. Hey, guys! Come on, stick close. I just walked on in like it owned the place. Figure it'd make a nice meal. We can eat raccoon? I'd eat the shit out of that raccoon. Not like, I mean, just, just that I'd be really happy to eat that raccoon. I am starving. Fresh meat would go a long way with Rebecca. Yeah. Shoot! Don't let it get away! Where is it? I think it went over there. There he is! He's coming your way! Block him! Oh! Oh, shit! Shoot! Dang it! Not with the walkers out there. I'm even hungrier than I was before. 
How'd I get to a place where I'm sad I'm not eating raccoon? Well, at least it was kind of fun. Yeah. Huh. I guess it was. Come on. Let's just get this back to Rebecca and the others. We don't have much time to waste. Shit! Walkers! How'd they get that close without anyone seeing them? That was Luke! Kenny, we've got to do something! You just keep that baby safe. Kenny? We can't stay here! Clementine, where's the place you and Jane found? I'll show you! Good. Someone help me up. Oh, God! There's so many! Mike, the water! On it! Tara, let's go! He's okay. He's losing it. I mean, that... that isn't... He's doing it to protect us. Sure. Eddie! as human as I've felt in a long time. I almost forgot what... Clementine! Je Jesus, Clem, it's just not... Uh, What's going on? Well, uh, I mean... In here. Let's get you comfortable. What the fuck are you two doing up here? Kenny, what's going on? We got God knows how many walkers out there, which you were supposed to be keeping an eye out for. Hey, hold on a second. Just tell me what's going on. What's going on is you're a reckless fucking moron. I'm reckless. You know, you got a lot of nerve, Kenny. Rebecca's having the baby. Now? No! Fuck. I'm sorry. Shit. Right over Shit. here. Shit. Uh. They're coming up the stairs. Here. Uh, we should. You want to uh. help? Get out there and keep the walkers off us. I'll do this. I've been here before. They can't rush us on the stairs. Shoot them before they get to us. Shit, that's a lot of them. We need everyone out here. I'm going outside. I'll help hold them back. Go. I've got Rebecca. Here they come. Here. We can't let them up here. Hey, Clementine. Hey. How's he doing? He's perfect. Who's a perfect little man? Who's the most perfect little man in the whole world? You are. That's right. You are. He looks like Alvin. You think so? Definitely. Thank you. <laughs> I'm fine. I'm fine. I just wish I could get warm. Clem. Why don't you give her that coat we found? Sorry, you know, about the color. You really think I care about that? Do you want to hold him? Could I? Of course. Your family. Here. Sister. <coughs> Here, let me take him. You both should rest. Especially you. 
When's the last time you slept, Kenny? How about two years ago. I'm fine. Plus, somebody's gotta watch you while Mama gets your beauty sleep. You never forget that smell. Listen, I'm sorry. I've got to go. What about Luke? What about him? Aren't you guys... Look, Luke's a nice guy, but it's not like that. And it can't ever be like that. Oh. Well, that's it then. You know, Jamie, Sarah... I'm not gonna stick around and watch it happen to you two. You know the score. You're a smart kid. I'll be okay. Sure. But give it enough time, and everyone's luck runs out. Listen, when the shit hits the fan, because it always does, Remember that you can make it on your own. It's not an option for everyone. If things start heading south, don't let them drag you down with them. You don't owe them anything. I'll make you feel like you do. Like it's all one happy family. When push comes to shove, you'll see. I owe these people everything. They've kept me safe, looked out for me. I wouldn't be here without them. Well, they can't keep you safe forever. No one is safe forever. Take care of yourself. I mean that. Here. Keep it. I, uh... I gotta go. 